Hi, I'm Gary Semex, and I got a good treat for you today. It's about breaking in new boots. I get a lot of questions, you know, from riders. How do I break in new boots? I'm missing shifts. I can't feel the brake. It's clumsy. How do you break them in? Well, for one thing, you're probably letting your old boots go too long because they get too soft and uh, flexy in them. They're all wore out. They're almost like having a tennis shoe on, <laughs> you know. Uh, if that happens, then when you go to a new boot, you're going to get super stiffness feeling. So try not to let your boots go that long. But um, anyway, when you get new boots, by the way, my favorite boot is Alpine Star. I've been using them for many years. I choose the Tech 8 Alpine Star. Excellent, excellent boots. But um, what you want to do when you take them out of the box is get them to flex a little bit. You know, you don't want to put them straight on because they're stiff, the leather is stiff. So what you do is put your hand down in the boot, way down in there, and then you just start flexing the leather. Flex the leather. You don't have to do it too long. I'd say maybe two, three hours is gonna be a, a good enough. <laughs> just kidding you. I'd say maybe two or three minutes is all it takes. Is flex them this way. This is a good direction, flex them. And then also, you can put them down on the ground and go back this way with them to flex this back part. So at least that leather is going to bend with you. And, you know, you just do that for three or four minutes with each boot, and you're going to be good to go. Makes a big difference. Okay, so the next thing you want to make sure you have done correctly is the adjustment of the boot and these babies here are still good but they are a lot softer than brand new so we're gonna take these off put the new ones on put your foot down in there in the booty and you got the strap in the back to pull up and stuff it in there. Oh, perfect fit, perfect fit, size 10. Now put your hand in, fold, make sure that the uh, inner boot is folded over and then fold this tongue down in there. There you go, and then pull it over. I like to put the middle buckle on first, and then usually the top buckle. This one's a little bit loose. But for right now, that's okay. Now these straps here, you, you don't want to have them too tight. And that's good and loose right there. Oh, they're, they're both good and loose. I don't even have to mess with them. But if they're a little bit too tight, you want to make sure you pull them up right here. That's as loose as it can go. And I'm going to leave it there. Because if these are too tight, pull this one up too. There, that's as loose as it'll go. It's really going to restrict your movement. And then once you get them on, you can do some of this type of movement with them too. Get them to uh, stretch out with you. Now it's, you know, it's already getting better. See my foot can move in there. Still going to feel different than this one, but I'd say it would take me about 120, 30 minute moto to start feeling comfortable with the brand new pair of boots. The top riders that you see in, on TV, they get brand new boots delivered to them every weekend. So they usually start with brand new boots every practice, so they're used to them. It's just a matter of being used to them. But as far as uh, breaking them in, that's what you have to do. Break them in with your hands, and then put them on your feet, and break them in with your feet, and get on the bike and go. Go ride it. That's it. It's done. And if you want the best boot, go to Alpine Star. Their website, alpinestar.com. And uh, check out their boots, man, because they've been in the business for a long time, and they make excellent boots. Okay, I'm going to get this other pair on and go out and do some riding. Some more riding.